Welcome to Parallels Remote Application Server, How to Video Series. In addition to the integration with Microsoft Azure, Parallels RAS 19 also brings integration with Amazon Web Services as a cloud computing provider. In this session, we are going to see how to connect your Parallels RAS environment with AWS. Manage and provision Amazon Elastic Cloud Compute EC2 instances as session hosts and publish applications and desktops running on AWS. Let's get started. Amazon EC2 offers a broad compute platform with over 500 instances and choice of the latest processor, storage, networking, operating system, and purchase model to help customers best match the needs of their workloads. Parallels RAS 19 provides the ability to integrate, configure, maintain, support, and access Amazon EC2 workloads on top of the existing capabilities of Parallels RAS. Support is targeted to server operating systems, multi-session and single-session hosts. Administrators can easily deploy applications and desktops running on Amazon EC2 from a single pane of glass. This enables administrators to choose default, opt-in, or specify custom endpoint URL for the AWS default region. This region identifies the servers you want to send your requests to by default. This is typically the region closest to you, but it can be any region. Centrally manage EC2 instances by using built-in remote tools such as remote desktop, computer management, or any custom administrative tools. Create Parallels RAS templates from an existing EC2 instance. Provision EC2 clones based on the configured RAS templates, or reconfigure clones based on different instance type and storage configurations, such as disk size, volume type, disk IOPS, and throughput. Auto-scale EC2 instances on demand, depending on workload, with ability to scale out and scale in. And set up schedules to power on and power off EC2 instances, according to a predefined schedule, for better cost management. Automated image optimization and FS Logix profile containers, along with other already built-in Parallels RAS features, are also available to be used with the newly integrated AWS Cloud Platform. Firstly, you need to have access to an AWS account to launch the Amazon EC2 instances. If you don't already have an AWS account, you can easily create and activate your account for free from aws.amazon.com slash ec2. You can make use of the AWS free tier to try out some AWS services free of charge up to a specific maximum amount of usage each month. You also need to have a working Microsoft Active Directory environment to enable you to join the Amazon EC2 cloned instances to your domain. A pre-configured virtual private cloud, VPC, as your virtual network, and security groups which act as a virtual firewall for your EC2 instances to control incoming and outgoing traffic. Optionally, for hybrid deployment, a site-to-site -site VPN to establish connectivity between your on-premises site and Amazon VPC. A pre-configured Amazon EC2 instance, which will be used later as a Parallels RAS template. This EC2 instance can run on any operating system from Windows Server 2012 up to Windows Server 2022. And finally, an AWS Identity and Access Management User Account to programmatically and securely access the AWS services from the Parallels RAS console. To create the IAM User Account, you can use the AWS Management Console, the AWS CLI, tools for Windows PowerShell, or using an AWS API operation. In this session, we will be using the AWS Management Console. Sign into the AWS Management Console and open the IAM page at console.aws.amazon.com slash IAM. In the navigation pane, choose Users and then choose Add Users. Under Set User Details section, provide a username such as Parallels Connector. Under AWS Access Type, select Access Key, Programmatic Access, as the Parallels RAS console will be using APIs to communicate with your AWS account. This will create an access key for the IAM user. You can view or download the access keys when you get to the final page. Click Next to proceed to the Permissions page. In the Permissions page, you can create a user group for the new IAM user to be part of. This is beneficial for management purposes, although not mandatory. If not using groups, choose Attach Existing Policies Directly to show a list of the AWS managed and customer managed policies in your account. Filter Policies and choose Amazon EC2 Full Access, which is an AWS managed preconfigured policy, and click Next to proceed to the next page. 
Optionally in this page, you can use the tags to organize, track, or control access for this user. Once ready from tags, choose Next, Review, to see all of the choices you made up to this point. When you are ready to proceed, choose Create User. To view the user's access key IDs and secret access keys, choose Show, next to each password and access key that you want to see. To save the access keys, choose Download CSV, and then save the file to a safe location. Please note that this is your only opportunity to view or download the secret access keys. Save the user's new access key ID and secret access key in a safe and secure place, to be used next, in the Parallels RAS console. Now that we have created the access key ID and secret access key, we can complete the integration with Parallels RAS. Open the Parallels RAS console. Navigate to Farm Category. And choose Providers, Subcategory. In this pane, click Tasks menu. Hover on Add. And choose Amazon Web Services. Follow and complete the wizard to add AWS as a cloud computing provider. Provide name and description. Optionally, add credentials to be used to centrally deploy the Parallels RAS agents to the future RAS templates and cloned EC2 instances. If no credentials are added, the current RAS administrator's credentials are used by default. Additional credentials may also be added at a later time. Under Service Principle section, Provide the access key ID and secret access key that were created in the previous step. Click Next and the wizard will display the new AWS provider information and will indicate the RAS provider agent status. Click Next to proceed. Choose the AWS region which identifies the servers you want to send your requests to by default. Typically this is the region closest to you, but it can be any region. The region can be chosen from the provided list of default regions. From the opt-in regions, specific to your AWS account. Or from a custom endpoint URL, as an alternate endpoint for your API requests. Click Finish to complete the wizard. The new AWS provider will now appear on the provider's pane, in the Parallels RAS console. Click Apply to apply the changes, and verify the value of the status column, which should now show as OK. Integration with AWS is now complete. We can proceed by managing EC2 instances, creating RAS templates and provision session hosts on AWS directly from the Parallels RAS console. Navigate to Farm Category. Choose RD Session Host Subcategory. And click on the Templates tab. In this tab, click Tasks menu and click on Add. This will bring up a window with all the guest VMs, in this case, the Amazon EC2 instances that are available in your AWS account. In case other providers have also been configured, other guest VMs residing on other providers are also shown in this list. While in the guest VM list dialog, you can install or update the RAS guest agent in any guest VM, perform power operations on guest VMs such as start, stop, and restart, use the provided or custom tools to perform standard computer management tasks on a guest VM such as establishing a remote desktop connection and pinging, and view guest VM properties. From the guest VM list dialog, we will choose a guest VM running on the configured AWS provider to be used as a RAS template. And click OK. The wizard will power on and check if the selected VM has the required RAS agents installed. In the meantime you can customize agent deployment settings such as adding the required firewall rules, installing RD session host role and adding users to be added in the remote desktop users group. Close window and wait for the RAS agent status to be confirmed. If status filed indicate RAS agent is not available, you can install. Else, click next to continue. Specify options such as template name, maximum number of VMs allowed to be created from this template, number of VMs to be created once this wizard completes and the name for guest VMs that will be provisioned from this template. Click next to continue. Specify additional options such as keep available buffer, default state for newly created VMs and if VMs are to be deleted if unused after a specific period of time, to optimize costs. Click next to continue. A list of Amazon EC2 instance types is retrieved. Choose the type of instance you want to use for your cloned guest VMs. Size chosen here can be different than the size of template. Click next to continue.
If needed, you can also customize the storage settings by choosing different volume type, size, IOPS, and throughput. Click next to continue. Specify domain settings for your cloned guest VMs. Click next to continue. Configure optimizations thanks to the automated image optimization capability. We will skip this step for this session. Click next to continue. Choose license key management type. Click next to continue. Finally, on the summary page, review the template summary information. You can click the back button to correct some of the information if needed. Click finish. Click apply to commit changes. Template creation and provisioning of Amazon EC2 instances based on configured settings is now in progress. If we switch back to the AWS management console, you can see that the chosen VM has been stopped and the Parallels tag added, promoting this VM as a RAS template. A new snapshot has been created, following the creation of the Amazon machine image based on the chosen RAS template. Going back to the instances, you can see that a new instance, based on the configuration set earlier, has been created. Switching back to the RAS console, we can navigate to the Groups tab in the RD Session Host subcategory. You can create a group or use an existing group. Go to the Auto Scale tab and assign the created RAS template to the group. From here you can specify the auto scaling options including minimum and maximum number of session hosts to be created and assigned to the group, along corresponding traceholds for dynamic, scale out, or scale in of session hosts depending on workload requirements. Click OK and apply to commit changes. To confirm that the clone is being created, go to Templates tab, right-click and choose Show Servers. The clone is still in preparing state which matches what we have seen in the AWS Management Console. Once preparation is complete, Clone VM is shown as OK. If we go back to the Groups tab, you can see that the configured group has now a new member, which is the clone that was just created and automatically assigned to the group. This session host or group of session hosts can now be used for publishing of applications and desktops. From the Publishing category, click Add and choose any type of resource, for example a desktop. Choose from where to publish, in this case the AWS group which includes the newly created session host. Specify name for the virtual desktop, which is the name that the end user will see from the Parallels client, and specify other options if required. Complete the wizard. Looking at the end user experience, users can use the Parallels client installed on their devices or the Parallels web client to log in and see the list of published applications and desktops. When using the Parallels web client, automatic client detection is carried out to provide the option to also use the locally installed Parallels client if required. Here you are able to see the newly available virtual desktop where the user can use the preferred launch method. In this session we will open the virtual desktop directly in the browser using the Parallels web client. User has now successfully launched and logged into their virtual desktop. We can open Windows Command Prompt to confirm that this is the same virtual desktop created earlier running on AWS.
In addition, we can also see the operating system of this virtual desktop which in this case is Windows Server 2022. This shows how easy it is for the end user to have secure access to their resources, whether desktops, applications or files, from any device, anywhere. You can sign up for a free fully featured 30-day trial, available directly in the Microsoft Azure and AWS marketplaces, or download and install Parallels RAS on your cloud of choice or on-premises in your infrastructure. This concludes our video on Parallels RAS and AWS as a cloud provider. Thank you for watching. To learn further details or contact us please visit parallels.com/ras.